Welcome to this very interesting video on the Copilot. Copilot is a new feature integrated in all the Microsoft applications, which is an AI thing. Now, on 15th of January 2024, this Copilot was available for all the general users. There was no condition, no criteria. Just pay an extra premium charge for that and you can get the Copilot in the Microsoft applications. So here in this video, everyone, I'll be talking about the Copilot feature, what things you can use with the help of Copilot in this Microsoft Excel. Now, there are many things we'll be covering in this particular video about how do you create functions, how do you highlight the data, how do you analyze the data, how do you visualize the data, all those topics one by one. So let's check out all the topics. So let's begin this topic over here. On the right hand side in the Microsoft Excel, if you see, I have the Copilot option. By the way, Copilot works in the Office 365 applications. Copilot in Excel works only on the data which is in the table format. Without table format, you cannot use this Copilot. So now when I click on this option, Copilot, on the right hand side, you can see that's a preview window which will be given here. This window will give me a space where I can ask the questions about my data. So if I'm not good into Excel, I can ask some questions in a layman language. It will give me the answers properly. So you see on the right hand side, it is giving some options here. It says first you need an Excel table, then only it will work. What I've done is I have got some data set over here. Now data set is related to sales and marketing data. So whenever I sell something, I will get the information about the customer, how much profit, how much sales, how much quantity, where is the customer, which city, which country, which location all those information is available in this sheet. So I will take that data and try to ask the questions to Copilot and see how smart it is. So that's a sheet which is order sheet. So the data set consists of the date column, order date and shipping date. It consists of all the textual data like the name of the customer, the segment of the customer, the location of that customer, country, city, state, pin code, postal code and everything. Also, on the right hand side, if you see, we have four numerical columns, which are sales, profit, quantity and discount. Now, I have got uh, this data and suppose I'm a manager in some company and I want to understand, I want to analyze this data. So using Excel techniques, definitely I can do that. But if I do not know much about the Excel, I can still use Copilot and get the answers. Let's see the first example. There's a random question which I want to ask that which state is having the highest profit. Okay. Or I can tell them, give me the top five states with the highest profit. So where is the profit column on the extreme right hand side? That's the profit column. And where is one column named as state? The name of the column here is state in the K column. So I want to find out the top five states which are having the highest profit. I can do it without copilot. No doubt. I can create a pivot table. I can do the filter and sorting and get the answers. Let me write it here in a very simple and layman language. The prompt which I'm asking, the question which I'm asking, it's known as the prompt. Show me the top five states by profit and I can just click on this enter button here. Now, less than 60 seconds, it will analyze entire data and it will give me the answers on the right hand side in the copilot. Now here, the 60 seconds which I mentioned will change depending upon your internet connection, depending upon your size of data. Okay, so here if you see when I scroll down, it has given me the top five states which are most profitable, which is California, New York, Washington and the other two states are given here. Now, suppose if I think this data is useful and I want to add this data, so I can just click on this add to new sheet and a new sheet would be created. This particular visual will be created in the next place here. So if I click on this, it's a pivot table basically. So it has saved my time of creating a pivot table and finding out the answer. Now, this is a very simple example, straightforward. I can ask some complicated questions as well. Give me the top five states in the furniture category in the year 2020. So this way I can ask complicated questions and it will give me the answers. Coming back to the next part over here. Now, suppose if you're a beginner, okay, when we, when I come back here, if you're a beginner with the co-pilot and you do not know what questions to ask. So on the right hand side, if you see, there's a box over here, there's a small button. This button will help you with the options you can ask. When I click on this button, what things can Copilot do for you? The first one, if you see, it can create. Okay. Second is understand, edit and ask. These are the four options it has given. Now, when I see the second option, understand, it will give me understanding about the data set. 
let me click on this understand option. Now when I click on that, there are some examples, but you can try many, many other examples. The first question is show insights about the data set. That's a data and you give me the insights. I do not know what to ask. Second is what is the percentage of square bracket total revenue from each region? Whatever is square bracket, that is an optional. You can change the language. You can change the column name and get the answer. So let me try with the first one, show insights about data. Now here I'm not working hard. By the way, I'm working smart and I'm trying to get the answers with the help of this co-pilot. So show insights about the data and have a look on the right hand side in the co-pilot. Uh, 60 seconds is the you know, average time which I've measured over here. And this has given me some line chart, if you observe, which tells me about the shipping data that is discount by ship date. Some line chart is given. And here it is giving the data in a textual format as well, which is very interesting here. Similarly, I can go back here. Let me ask one more question. Understand what is the percentage of total revenue from each region? When I select that, what is the percentage of the square bracket text has been wiped out? It's not available here. Now I can ask what is the percentage of, let's say, profit by region. So what is the percentage of profit by region when I press enter? And here, if you observe, 60 seconds is the average time and uh, then I can find out the answers over here. So this is a very blessing uh, kind of thing for all the managers, all the VPs, all the business owners uh, that they do not have to be an expert into all the uh, functions, formulas and everything to get the answers here. So now 60 seconds and it has given me the answer. It says, uh, it is apologizing by the way. I'm sorry I couldn't find the percentage of profit by region. Uh, could you refine and ask the question? So it did not understand my prompt, my question, and I have to rewrite the question and get the answer. So let me ask the question one more time. So the question I've asked is, what is the profit percentage distribution by region? And I can just click on send button. So now it will understand the profit percentage distribution. It's kind of a percentage chart or a donut or pie chart. Let's see, 60 seconds is the average time and I should get the answer. So uh, people used to take longer time to understand how to write the formulas, how to get the insights. It has given the answer in a better format. So remember, if you're not getting the answer in the first take, like I, I did not get it, I you have to rewrite the prompt. What is the prompt? The question which you're asking to the co-pilot is known as prompt. So the prompt should be clear and concise so that you can get the answers here. Now that is the second part. Moving on to the next part over here. When I click on this option, and these are the four things, but I can ask them thousands of questions about my data. For example, it says ask. So if I click on ask, I can ask them any questions about the data set. For example, let me show you one customer. Let's say a customer named as Ken Black. Now, what is the profit given by Ken Black? I can find out with the help of pivot table. But imagine if I do not have a time and I still want to get the answer. So I'll just type here any name you can put, any country name, any city name, which is in your data set ask them questions, it will give you the answers. So what is the profit by Ken Black? And on, on, your, on the right hand side, left hand side, if you see, that's a Ken Black. When I press enter from my keyboard and I click on the send button, this will take 60 seconds, approximately one minute of your life and will give you the answers here. So Copilot is a, a game changing tool. It is still in the uh, development, I can say it is launch, but I think every day they are trying to bring new features in this co-pilot here. So here, if you go down and let's see, yeah. So you see, that's the answer. Ken Black, the profit is how much? 579 for point some value. That's the beauty of this co-pilot. So it's like a AI. It's like a GPT inside your Excel. Now, there might be people who might be asking that this, then what is the difference between GPT 4.0 and the co-pilot application? So Please remember here that the GPT 4.0, you're trying to send the data to openai.com. And if you trust your data, then it's fine. If you trust that OpenAI, but companies hesitate to send their data to the AI, okay, or to the chat GPT. So therefore, internally, if you want to play with the data, which is very, very confidential data, you can use this co-pilot inside your Excel. So when you, this is the video for the Microsoft Excel. But Copilot is available for Word, for PowerPoint, for Teams and 365, which is Copilot here in the Teams as well. So there are many videos which are coming up on the Copilot part as well. So if you think you want this trainings for your team to enhance their knowledge and to make them better in the you know working style and save time, if time is important for your company, then 
we can provide you the solution. There's an email ID given on the screen. If you see info at uh, technohls.com, you can connect on that and our team will get back to you with the right trainings, which is suitable for your organization. Coming back over here, I can click on this option. So when I click on the create option, what are the things it can create? It can create a formula, it can create a column, it can convert the data, it can extract the date function, number function, text function, everything. For example, right, so let's see the next part over here. So I can click on this prompt option and now here it gives me the option to edit. If I click on the edit option, there are a list of some sample prompts which are given and it says highlight the lowest five budgets. It says sort based on something or filter. So if I say highlight, I can click on this. What I want to highlight, I want to highlight a profit column where the profit is below zero or the numbers are below zero. When I send this particular prompt to the co-pilot, it is smart enough to understand what are the values below zero and this will highlight the data inside this particular Excel. So basically it's a conditional formatting in Microsoft Excel, conditional formatting and you can again ask some complicated questions, it will give you the answers. So let's wait for 60 seconds. So now if you see on the right hand side, it says done. I applied a red fill color and a black font color. It has done that. So conditional formatting also works. So when I go on the right hand side and try to find out the profit, carefully observe minus 383, which is below zero has been highlighted in red color. If I go down all the places, it has highlighted into red color here. Now conditional formatting, I can ask them some complicated questions and still it will give me the answers here. So now, and the last, what I can do is, if you see, there are some suggestions which are given, what questions you can ask. I can click on the refresh button and the questions and the prompts will change definitely. Now, there's a last thing which I can show you. If you want a huge library of questions till now, okay, there are some uh, category of questions. I can click here. It says view more prompts. When I click on this button, a separate dialog box will open where it will have all the set of type of questions. You can see the categories which are given, create, understand and edit. And here I can click on this option, create. So what are the prompts related to create will be given here. So let me increase the size. So here comes for the create, compare columns, combine columns, extract the month. So I can click on this understand option. I can deselect this create option. And you can see these are the different options related to understanding, spotting the trends, getting a count and understanding my data. So these are some prompts which are ready-made available in this Copilot. I think you can explore more about it and get the understanding. So remember everyone, Copilot is a game changer tool. This is just one person of the entire Copilot syllabus, I can say. There are many, many things which you can explore about Copilot in the other applications. I hope you have understood about Copilot. That's all for this video.